Yee boom shakalaka. What is up everyone? I'm looking just, oh, oh yeah. Oh. I'm here to do a review on the new PE Science pre-workout. Prolific. I'm gonna go more in depth on like the ingredient profile, what I think about the ingredient profile, my thoughts on the quality. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff in here. This was a pre-workout that was super hyped on Anabolic Minds for probably ever since I started being on Anabolic Minds for probably two years at least. Um, some of the some of the friends I've made on Anabolic Minds say it's been three years in the making for this product right here. But I wanted to do this little intro to uh, do a little taste test. Oh, oh. Boom shakalaka. All right, mine is raspberry lemonade. I, I think there's only one flavor. It smells pretty decent. Smells, smells good. Smells uh, a little bit more raspberry than lemonade. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, mixes pretty well like this. I recommend a. Definitely not shaker. A lid. It's one scoop with 10 ounces. Did you turn the mic on? Uh, the recommendation is with four or five ounces. I would probably suggest a little bit more than four or five ounces. Yeah, we did. 10. 10 ounces. All right, we're doing it for the cereal here. Oh, oh. That's like a refreshing, uh, like a ras really nice raspberry. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it with high volume and we're gonna mix it with the orange pineapple high volume, so that'll be really good together. We're hitting chest. Um, disclaimer, we've both had plenty of water, a decent amount of food, you've had food, good enough. Food and water are gonna play a, a role in the pump, but this product plus the high volume is gonna be uh, very advantageous for the pump and many other factors, so. See you in a little. Let's go. We are back. We're back. So tell them what you thought. Overall really good. Clean, clear focus. So we drank it, we talked for a minute, and the focus just driving to the gym um, was starting to pick up. Focus was good. The energy was really smooth. Like there was no time where we peaked really hard as far as like a, a hard rush no. of energy. Like it was very There's smooth no, throughout. There's no like, like one three dimethylene or like Yeah, no jitters. Adderall, like I feel invincible type thing. It's not that product if you're looking for that, but if you're looking just for a clean, smooth energy throughout your workout, it's clutch. Two scoops of high volume with it as well. Oh, oh. All right. <laughs> so there you uh, go. There's supplement facts the on Prolific. Profile. The ingredient profile. We'll read it off to you. I do want to start with, uh, they do recommend for everyone to take in um, 90 to 125 fluid ounces of liquid um, when taking this product, which I'm thrilled that they outline that because a lot of people don't realize that um, water consumption and nutrients are going to be the main part of making all of this work. Got l citrulline at 3 grams. This is going to be the peak pump product Oh, oh. any pre-workout supplement. Um, and especially being the citrulline instead of the citrulline mm. malate, you're really getting the, the cream of the crop basically for pumps. Then we move into betaine anhydrous at 1.25 grams. This is going to help with um, endurance, recovery within the session, um, and at 1.25 grams you're really getting a quality, quality dosage. Um, and then we move into taurine at 750 milligrams. Taurine is just basically working um, to help recover your CNS, your central nervous system. And then in two scoops, 1.5. Which is a hefty That's dosage of bad. taurine. That's not bad. So it's going to help you out with uh, just CNS recovery and helping you calm down uh, throughout your workout. Stay calm. Don't get your CNS hashtag too rev. Then we uh, then we move into a pretty interesting ingredient in Infinergy um, at 160 milligrams. And what this is is a combination of fast-acting caffeine and a time-release caffeine. So you're really getting a steady influx of of caffeine of of energy throughout your session and. In our experience, we found that it was it was very smooth. There was no uh, no no spike or no peak really of of our energy, and we weren't really on the downfall. And we trained for 
an hour and 15, hour 30 minutes. And yeah, we're in there no, for about an hour and 15 minutes. No so. crash or anything. And no, so. clean, smooth energy. So, And then we've got Cognizant, which is basically your brain's like favorite food um, at 125 milligrams. Yeah, and the nootropic just for focus. Yeah. And then we've got L-theanine at 100 milligrams. Um, this is going to help with kind of uh, calming your calming your mind, calming your uh, calming your thoughts, mental mental clarity. Um, it, it it also kind of helps counteract um, and calm down the CNS as well, and counteract those caffeine effects that you might otherwise like. Oh, I always get jittery from caffeine. Theanine helps at 100 megs or 200 milligrams if you do two scoops. Like that's a really really good dose um, that's shown to be effective in, in research. And then we have Rhodiola rosea at 50 milligrams, and that's going to be another nootropic. The blend of this, the, the Cognizant, the Rhodiola, and this next product we're going to speak on, it was, it was really nice. I thought it was a, a definitely a good combination. Yeah, it was a good addition. I felt very focused throughout the session, very, um, uh, I don't know, like tunnel vision almost, uh, that kind of strength. Yeah, Alex and I usually kind of mess around. The last ingredient is going to be the coffee fruit extract at 50 migs. So, just another nootropic. Um, so the the main focus I feel for this is just going to be focus, 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 and then um, a, a decent amount of pump and enough energy to really uh, to push your workout. Um, if you want to take it to the next level, you could obviously do two scoops. Which we recommend if you're a larger male. We're not large males. <laughs> yeah, we're, very we are, small, small we're males. small to medium. Uh, pushing the medium. Oh, oh. Alex is small. <laughs> there's no, there's no beta alanine, which I thought was pretty interesting, as that's like, kind of like a staple in the supplement pre-workout industry. I think they're making a statement with it, though. Yeah, I agree. Let me explain. So, by not adding niacin or a beta alanine, they're basically saying we're so confident in this product that we don't need instant, instant effects or feelings to convince people that this pre-workout works, because it does work. This is really all-inclusive to um, all crowds, which I think is pretty incredible. Pump. Focus. Discount code.